Hello, I'm Seema Kambo Josen, and we are going to paint mountains in the snow. This is my sketch. I've used my watercolor pencil and just done a rough sketch of the mountains. Now I'm wetting. I'm using Canson paper, 300 LBS with around 248 brushes. I have wet the uh, top of the mountains, the sky, with pure water and I'm dropping in Prussian blue. Shades of Prussian blue and then I have also mixed Prussian blue plus a darker shade of uh, black to give it dark tones, a little bit of blue, cerulean blue and then I'm holding the board up a little bit to wipe out the excess um, and I'm scraping out the excess paint and giving it a layered look. See, I'm just pulling out the excess paint from places to give it um, shadows in the sky, a uh, stormy sort of a scene. I'm dropping in more darker hues in places closer to the mountain tops and in the sky I filled in the sky my sky is ready and I'm just putting shades of uh, uh, black mixed with a lot of white and I've diluted it to give it uh, shades paints gray you can use paints gray keep away from the skyline and just drop in your shadows and in the crevices of the mountain so we have created crevices with this shading with paints gray and a very um, diluted cerulean blue mountain tops crevices are paints gray you can drag them out make them thin to create the distance between the mountains Pull out your excess paint from the side of the mountain. Put in some more paints gray for the crevice. I have my own sunshine coming and falling on my painting and creating lots of shades. Pulling out Acha. I've put in um, again a wet brush to put drop in my trees and now. Uh, first I wet that place with a wet brush and I just dropping in sap green and it creates these beautiful trees on its own because the paper is laden with water shiny but not too much water and then you just drop in the colors and it pull out the trees the other side also I used a lot of water on my brush and then I dropped in a different shade of green and took a thinner brush to create a tree top pulled out the trees that's a mop brush which I used to pull out the excess paint now I'm just putting in my darkest hues Pulling out the treetops, very thin brush is needed for this, putting in some trees, then I put some uh, pine trees, one on each side, two on the side, one on that side and put in some more paints grey for the shadows, the trees are dropping their shadow on the snow. So, for the most part, the white of the paper is working as the snow, but we have to drop in the shadow. So, paints gray. Now, I'm dropping in some pure white gun as the snow. The white is the snow and I'm dropping it on the pine trees, gouache, please use gouache for the snow because it is opaque.
translucent it's neither acrylic nor is it a water based paint we have now covered the mountains with snow as well i'm just splattering some white gouache and creating a snowy uh, effect snow snowy effect in the sky that's it the painting's almost done pulling out the trees creating a beautiful landscape now is the reveal i pulling out my tape and revealing my painting be careful not to tear your painting i have slightly torn it from there but i'll fill in the paint and there is my painting hope you enjoyed it do subscribe do like do share tell me what you'd like to see me paint thank you